Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about the Trine Winsett 2 Barefoot BML detection. It may appear under different circumstances, and in this video, I will try to cover them all and explain what should you do once you see the alert about the Barefoot Trine. This is a detection of Microsoft Defender, specifically its AI detection engine. This is what the ML particle in the end stands for. Barefoot is a name for a wide range of spyware and still a malware. Microsoft assigns such names to malware that shares similar code solutions and actions in the infected system. The malware, in fact, may have its own family name. As such, the AI-based detection system may be pretty effective, though it needs correction from other systems to avoid false positives. And this is not always possible, that's why ML detections are often just false positives. Though understanding whether it is a fault detection or not will take more effort and time than just saying all ML detections are false. But what if it is a malicious program? Well, you will not likely notice malware activity, as spyware detected as barefoot tries to stay as covered as possible. Usually, it quietly crawls through specific folders searching for cookie files, databases with passwords, crypto wallet information, and things alike. All the collected data is then sent to the common server. Once it is done, malware switches to idle, waiting for further comments. It may start to lock your keystrokes, take screenshots or record video, or even audio from the system peripherals. All this sounds worrying, sure, but fortunately, you can understand what happens pretty easily. When the barefoot detection is a false positive, you will likely see the affected file in a legitimate directory, like a file in a folder of the game you updated recently. Though, if a file is in a folder unrelated to any program you know or use, or especially in the temporary directory, that's a bad sign. To clear out the nature of the barefoot detection, I recommend using Gradient Soft and Time Malware. This effective and lightweight program is capable of detecting the most modern malware samples. I'll put the downloaded link to the description. Running a standard scan will be enough. It will check the system disk for possible malware. And if it will not detect anything, don't worry, the detection from Defender was most probably just a false positive. In my case, there is a dropper and a steal, which most likely triggered the Defender. Though the scan is still running, so let's give it another minute. Now, when the scan is over, I initiate the removal by clicking Clean Now. It can take some time, especially when there is a lot of malware detected. Finally, the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.